Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Evoque, then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2-litre TD4 HSE Dynamic. It's automatic, it's 2016 on a 16 plate, has done 31,726 miles. The fuel economy, urban 39.2 miles per gallon, extra urban 53.3 miles per gallon, and combined is 55.39 miles per gallon has a 0 to 60 time of 8 seconds, a top speed of 120 miles per hour, out of a 4 cylinder, 178 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. You're not going to lose it in a car park are you? <laughs> or, or have to set your app on your iPhone to, to find it. Um, fantastic colour, fantastic colour combination, very very popular. The last one we had in this colour, the, the phone rang off the hook so we'll, we'll see anyway. Um, so we've got keyless lock, keyless entry, um, put your hand behind there, when you get out of the car just put your thumb on there, car locks, door mirrors fold in, come back, hand behind the handle and that's it, it, it opens up. So it's got the black pack as well, the black roof, black mirrors, these vents on the side, the matte black uh, multi-spoke alloy wheels, Pirelli Scorpions all round, the plastic wheel arch protectors here. Got the black badges, the black grill, the splitter at the front there, and uh, the vents all in black. Front and rear parking sensors, you can just see the sensors in there, and also we've got high pressure headlamp wash. Black window surrounds. Rear privacy glass, the full glass panoramic roof there, the integrated rear spoiler and these twin shark fin aerials, rear wash wipe is hidden away up there, got a reversing camera just there, again the black badges and the black trim. If you want, it's power open, power closed tailgate, or you can open it from the button up there, hard rear load cover, quite a lot of room in the back there i've got loads of stuff in the rear seats split uh, 60 40 independently of each other i'm not sure yeah we've got a, a get your home spare wheel there as i say bags of room reversing sensors in the back here and then you've got this kind of gloss black rear diffuser it's a lovely uh, color combination uh, very unusual I, I think anyway i, I like it Now, I've put the seat forward and, and usually I, I'm always moaning or you, when, I, when I get in the back here, you go, oh, you know, I'll be groaning. And uh, a couple of times when we've had cars with massage seats, I, I've got my mum on about them. And uh, a firm called Medica Relaxing in London who sell uh, Fuji Iriaki uh, massage chairs have sent me one <laughs> to test out and to keep I, I kid you not it's absolutely fantastic it's um anyway as you can see here look <laughs> it's it's cured me back in two weeks i feel like a i feel like a 16 year old so um hence i'm in a good mood today it's a lovely day i feel all right and this is a great car and i, I i'm lucky enough to be able to do this for my job come up here drive through the countryside and tell you about it um one one thing i have done since the last video i've taken delivery of my citroen ami which is kind of a reset button for me because I, i'm just used to driving really nice cars all the time and and i I've, I've been driving a jaguar f-type and, and a, a range rover sport and, and they them two cars kind of spoil me for everything else because i I get in a car like this and I think, yeah, it's all right. But today, after driving my Citroen Ami and nothing else for two days, I jumped in this car and I thought, wow, this is fantastic. This drives great. It irons the bumps out. It accelerates like nobody's business. Um, it, it, seats are great. So 
with a bit of luck, that will give me, will ground me and give me a bit more perspective on these cars because anybody that we sell a car to, they're usually upgrading. So, so to them, this car will feel like a million dollars. Whereas to me, if anything, it was a little bit of a come down and it's a lovely car. It really is a lovely car. So back to the car, full pan roof, nice, comfortable um, sports leather seats, perforated in the middle there. There's a reasonable amount of room in the back, ideal for children. You've just got to, there you go. If you're an adult, you've just got to knock the rear headrest up so it's not right in the middle of your back. Very, very nice. It really is. Uh, airbags in the A pillar, the B pillar here, in the roof, uh, C pillar is it in the, and the D pillar. Um, very, very usual Land Rover uh, quality and uh, Land Rover safety. Brilliant cars, I love them. Okay, let's go for a ride. So here we go, that's the Range Rover key there, Let's, uh, don't expect that to drop off at any time, it uh, <laughs> doesn't seem to be working so well today. So keyless go, so as long as we've got the key, get your foot on the brake, uh, just press the button and it will start, audio's off, that's, uh, that will probably come on so I'll get ready to knock it off because I'll add it on loud on the way up here. So lovely, lovely specification on this car. Um, good colour combination uh, to pan roof. We've got electric memory seats. Memory one is set for me, so the the door mirrors and the seats go to the place I want. But we'll just see who's had it before. Who lived in a car like this? And there you go. So that's. Position two. Position three, just going up a bit and then back to my position. So dead easy to set. You just get put everything where you want. Click the M and then click one, two or three, whichever position you want you want to put it in. I'll just put the sat nav on there as well. That's put it in reverse, reversing camera. It's got Meridian speakers if you like music it's uh, inside a Range Rover a Land Rover is a fantastic place to listen to it it's uh, like oops I'll put it in drive buzz that helps <laughs> let's say I've been driving a Citroen Ami for the last couple of days top speed 28 miles an hour range 45 miles and uh, the roads in Preston leave a lot to be desired and honestly I jump in this and it's it's just it's bliss it's like I was going to say it's like being a Rolls Royce but uh, goodness me it's it's so nice the engine and the powertrain for this for the Evoque and this size of vehicle seems to be just perfect lots of acceleration it's economical too so that's not too bad at all. Nice and pleasant. It's, it's certainly fast enough um, on acceleration, but it, again, as I say, the, the AMI is like a, it's like a reset button for me. It, <laughs> driving a Citroen AMI is second only to walking. <laughs> so, that's, gosh, I didn't, there you go, there's a, the sat nav. It's got Bluetooth hands free, Bluetooth audio streaming. S speakers, brilliant. Heated seats, heated seats are there. It's three position heated seats or three settings. And uh, they do get very, very hot. Aircon or auto aircon. So I've just got cold air blowing on the windscreen at the moment to keep the front camera's cool in the in the sun although it's cold outside the, the sun soon heats them up when they switch off 
we've got the gear selector in the centre here, the round one, which I like, and then we've got your terrain response controls, Swamp, Christmas, Mexico, Minefield, Swamp, Minefield, Christmas, Mexico, whatever. So that, that's all good. Electronic handbrake, there's the stop start, so we want to knock that off. Don't want it to be cutting out just when I'm pulling on, out off a roundabout, which they all seem to do. Cruise control, let's just say there, one touch and it's set the cruise control. I can reduce the speed. I can reduce the speed on the cruise control. can also knock into sport here, hold it in gear longer, put it back in drive, use the paddle shifts. If I go into the menu, got driver assistance, um, let's just see, trip computer, display settings, vehicle settings. So into vehicle settings, click OK. Security features, convenience features, down to convenience features, click OK. And there we've got reverse dip mirror, windows global open, windows global close. I'll just get around this corner, certain death corner. Easy entry exit. Right, so it's not there, so we'll go back to, we don't want safety features, so display settings, trip computer, driver assistance, click OK on driver assistance, forward alert, yeah that's OK, lane departure warning, no we don't want that, so I'll knock that off, blind spot monitor, yes it's got blind spot monitors in the mirrors, best invention ever, especially if you're a motorbike, on a motorbike. Reverse traffic detection. Let's go back. Use the paddle shift there if you so desire. Lovely and smooth, nice commanding driving position. You see over everything. Seats very, very comfortable too. Let's see, there's a control at the front, a little a circular button and that controls the lumbar support in the back. Front central armrest there. Inside there is a, a power socket, a USB and also auxiliary in. the power folding door mirrors. Just a lovely car. We've got so many great cars in at the moment. Um, really, really lucky to have the stock we have, considering how hard it is to find good stock at the moment. Um, we've we've we're fully stocked, but we did go through a phase where both John and myself were searching every day for nice examples, and John's been all over the country collecting them <laughs> because we're too tight to pay for delivery, and John likes to see them too, and um, I'm starting to think he likes 
going on trains. So anyway, I don't mind. I like coming out in the country driving cars, so as long as you don't want to do this, I'm, I'm quite happy. Best looking, this, this size and price range of four wheel drive, by far the best looking vehicle on the road, by far. I would say best driving too. This one's fallen off. That one's overheated. I, I've got the I've got the air conditioning. It's 90 degrees outside. I've got the air conditioning set to as low as it will go. And it's still overheated. Now that's not even a GoPro 11. That's a GoPro 10. And the 11s are recording at 4:3. Uh, um, at uh, 5.7k, that's just 4k, and at 24 frames a second because I've reduced them from 30 because they used to overheat. I, honestly, you know, <laughs> people, I, how they can get away with selling these as an action camera <laughs> is beyond me. Anyway. You, as you can see, back to the car. Just going to give this guy some room because there's a pheasant in the side there. No, no, I'm not seeing it jump up the wall, so I don't want it just. But yeah, it's just moving the grass there. I don't want it running out in front of me. Just a, a lovely car to drive on, especially on roads like this, surroundings like this. It's a pleasure. I think I'm going to have to go back to uh, my big suction cups. These, just the little disc, the sticky disc, 25 quid a piece, and the, the last two minutes before they become uh, unsticky, you're supposed to just be able to wash them in water and the, uh, retain the stickiness, but as you can see, they don't. Um, what else have we got? So if we go to, into menu there and we just click along the screens, 4x4, four four, you've got ambient lighting there. Of course, ambient lighting is a, a, a must in cars. These, uh, we had a chip shortage and, and they were putting <laughs> stuff like that in cars that nobody, I can guarantee the chap that's had this, We'll never have used that, but uh, anyway. So I, I like blue, we'll change that to blue. So that's the ambient lighting changed. We'll go back. Um, across again. Then you've got eco data. Advanced trip setting. It's telling you what's taking your power at the moment. My heated seat is on there. Actually, I'm not just knock that off. The air conditioning's on. Driving style, here we go. So driving style, at the moment, 4.8 for use of accelerator, speed and engine 4.5, and brake 4.8. But as you can see there, it's all good, all green. I'm doing a sterling job for the planet. as our Range Rover making this vehicle do that many miles to the gallon, the size and weight of it.
I could be behind this guy for quite a long time. Because unless I drive, mind you, I probably could do in this, but unless I uh, drive up the side of the hill there, I'm not going to be able to give him a yard. And he doesn't seem like he's too keen on moving over either. There we go. Oh, no, there's another. It's a, that's the trouble when you can't see around the corner. Thank you. Oh gosh. The cyclists are out in force today. So if you just moved over a little bit, you've you have got about. <laughs> it's a nice day. I'm not in a hurry. There's somebody down there already having a picnic. Good for them. Nice fresh air. Got the dog with them. What could be, oh, the, the cyclist guy's catching me up. He's gonna overtake me. <laughs> I, I don't wanna, I, do you know what? I don't, I'm gonna let him overtake me because I don't wanna go this fast round here. There's too many animals. I'm gonna let him overtake me again. As you can see, I'm clearly getting on his nerves. All right. Unless he's uh, he's he's trying to he's trying to ride in my slipstream. Keep ahead of him till the hill. He won't. He won't catch me up then. Certain death corner two. Sure, there's nothing waiting to bite us around here. I think I just saw a motorbike headlight up in the distance. So, yep, there we go. Fabulous car. I can hear my camera gear rattling in the back.
dashboard there. Well, you've got your phone controls here. Cruise controls on that side. There, that flicks through your menu in the centre. And you select with OK in there. You can change channels on your radio or mode um, and skip tracks. That's the volume controls. Your paddle shift is here. Change down on the left, up on the right. Wipers on the right here. Indicators on the left. Just approaching, another car approaching, just as we've got to go through water. I'm late today because um, it's done nothing but rain in Preston. And uh, this car was filthy, so I had to go to the garage first, wait for the car wash to open. Normally I'd set off about half six to come up here. Wait for the car wash to open, have it washed, leathered and tire slicked and then drive up here, but having said that, it's all the better for it, it's a lovely day. And here we go, that's it. Ticks all the boxes, desirable colour, desirable specification desirable car, economical, comfortable, safe and uh, great specification. What more could you ask for? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.